Well, deep into any major tournament, it's no surprise to hear the German national anthem. But my goodness, they were fortunate to come through a very strong challenge against France in the quarter-final. A little more comfortable for the United States in that 1-0 victory over China. Hope Solo set a new national record, 423 minutes since she conceded a goal in the tournament. Captain Carly Lloyd's header brought the USA here to this semi-final. Two changes to the team that started against the Chinese. Megan Rapino and Lauren Holiday returned from suspension, replacing Kelly O'Hara and Amy Rodriguez. Coach Jill Ellis normally 4-4-2 but seemingly gone for a more cautious approach here. This is effectively 4-5-1 for the United States. Nadine Angra, Carly Lloyd, the respective captains. Our referee is from Romania, Teodora Albon. What a night for Angara, already announced that she will be retiring. Her fifth and final World Cup. In the spirit of fair play and friendship, the captains and referees take part in the Handshake for Peace, a campaign by FIFA and the Nobel Peace Center. Well, Angara keeps goal in what has been a very settled goalkeeper in back four. Apart from when Saskia Bartusiak missed out owing to suspension, but she's back to replace Babette Peter. That's the only change Germany make from the starting 11 against France in the quarter final. Celia Sasic, top scorer in the tournament with six goals. Germany have scored 20 in the competition so far, the USA only seven. Sylvia Nides, preferred formation 4 2 3 1. Huge match for both coaches. Jill Ellis not long into the head roll with the United States. This lady has been in the post for 10 years and will be stepping down next year to be replaced by Steffi Jones. Change of colours for Germany. Played in there. White, largely, largely white shirts in that quarter-final against France. It's a USA in white, so Germany will get us started. These two giants of the women's game meeting for the third time in a World Cup semi-final. One win each so far. Amazing that they've never met in the final. Alex Morgan and Jill Ellis were saying in the pre-match press conference that they had been preparing for Germany all the way. Very much felt that if both nations won their group, which they did, that they would, uh, providing they came through the last 16 and quarter-final, that they would have this match-up eagerly awaited. A wonderful atmosphere. And Julie Johnston misses that to Saarbrunn and how important they've been for the United States. Developed a really fine understanding, those two central defenders, Johnston and Saarbrunn. And here's uh, Simone Laudier. Taken on now by Maya. Broken up by Holiday. Now Tobin Heath. For Ali Krieger, given away by Morgan Bryan. Germany step forward with some purpose here. Loud air, trying to get herself a decent crossing position. She's done that and forces the. She's about to say the opening corner of the game, but the last touch came off her. She was unfortunate. USA unbeaten in the last 11 games against Germany. 
Although, strictly speaking, the Germans do have one win during that period, but it came via a penalty shootout. Here's Laudier. Gersling for Kemmer. Had a really good tournament, Tabia Kemmer. One of the less experienced players in the German ranks, but she's very much the first choice left back. And that will be the opening corner for Germany, forced by Gersling. So the United guided Germany to World Cup success in 2007. They were very disappointed to go out of the quarter-final stage four years ago on home soil. Free header in there, won't trouble Hope Solo. The marking on Leupold's not particularly good from the US. Leupold's got a fair amount of room here. Here's Johnston. She's made my team of the tournament so far, Julie Johnston. Just a matter of months ago, she was fifth choice central defender for the United States. Here's Laudaire, capitalizing on a mistake by Klingenberg. Now Sasic. Yes, close the door. And Carly Lloyd. Here's Rapino. Great excitement as Megan Rapino. Looks for the ball to try and pick out Tobin Heath. Comfortable defending for Germany. Here's Laudaire. Germans got off to a very an uncharacteristically low and slow start against France in the quarter-finals. They've been brighter in the opening minutes here, as Sylvia Knight said they would be. Mittag fouling Johnston. Anya Mittag was taken off in the quarter-final at half-time against France. I think that was probably largely due to the fact that she picked up a yellow card. And anything uh, tactical, I don't think they wanted any further problems for her in that match. Although all yellow cards prior that have been picked up in this tournament now have been chalked off after the quarter-final stage. Maya. Gersling, all action in that German midfield. Leupoltz losing out though. Here's Rapino. Pass short of Klingenberg. Alex Morgan taken down there by Kran. Jill Ellis was keen to point out that the United States must match German challenge physically. She feels they've got the tools to get the job done here, but they have to be equal in that physical challenge. It will be a physical match, you can absolutely be assured of that. Lauren Holiday with the United States free kick. Julie Johnston, real danger from set pieces Klingenberg Rapino United States have their first corner almost greeted like a goal by the huge United States following here at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal Standing up all around my commentary position, so I've just about got a glimpse of Rapino taking this corner. And the header! A wonderful save by Angara! Julie Johnston's header and a quite breathtaking stop from Nadine Angara. Here's Krieger. Tobin Heath. Angara, just flapping at that one a little, not too much pressure on her. 
There is no touch, and it will be a goal kick. But the United States so close to taking the lead. This is the earlier cross from Morgan Bryan. There was no touch from Angara. But from the Megan Rapino corner, talked about Julie Johnston being a real threat in the air. And she almost put the US in front, but for a terrific save from Angara. Now, space opening up for Germany. Pop with a ball in, and Hope Solo having to make sure she helped it on its way. Didn't want to take any risk in trying to catch that, Hope Solo. Dangerous one from... Uh, had a little bit of pace on it from Alexandra Pop. Another Germany corner. Lena Gersling of Wolfsburg will take this. Four red-shirted German players surrounding the US goalkeeper, Hope Solo. Driven flat by Gersling. And as far as the United States are concerned in this semi-final, it's unfinished business for Jill Ellis and her squad. They were three minutes away from winning the World Cup in Germany in 2011 until Hamari Sawa scored in the 117th minute of, during extra time to take it to penalties. And the Japanese prevailed 3-1 on spot kicks. It's a lovely header down here. It's going to pick out the run of Carly Lloyd. Now Rapino. Oh, lovely play from Megan Rapino, But no sting in the shot. But she opened up the space superbly well. And here's Pop. The referee is going to want a word here with Tobin Heath. Don't think it'll be a card, just a, a word of admonishment to Tobin Heath. It's a fascinating matchup in so many respects when you consider the history of these two nations, the top table of the women's game, but also in, in the fact that Germany are the top scorers in this tournament and the USA have the best defence. Half of Germany's 20 goals came in one game against the debutants Cote d'Ivoire in the group stage. Rapino gets to a terrific amount of work. Real athlete, Megan Rapino. The United States certainly miss her when she's not in the side. But, uh, Rapino and Lauren Holiday recalled by coach Ellis after being suspended for that quarter-final win over China. Leonie Meyer with the Germany throw. Meyer will take again. Morgan Bryan playing her way out from the back nicely until the loose touch from Morgan. Holiday. Heath. Looks as though at times that United States midfield is going to be quite narrow. Klingenberg unable to help that down the line to Morgan. I'll be one back. Maybe to make uh, do with another substitute's berth. 
the most experienced of all the United States players, of course, at the age of 35, one back. With a quite astonishing international goal-scoring record, 183 in 247 caps. 14 of those in the World Cup. Free kick given here for Carly Lloyd's attentions on Bartusiak. Gersling. Sasic won't get to that. Mittag. Shot driven in by Laudere. Had all the weight taken off it though and it falls kindly for Hope Solo. Sasic and Mittag, that partnership has been in tandem on the German international scene for over a decade now. First came to prominence in the Under-20 World Cup in Thailand in 2004. 11 goals between them at this World Cup. Here's Lauren Holiday for the United States. Sauerbrunn. Johnston. Told nicely by Lloyd and slipped through here. The real chance for the United States. Big save again from Angara to keep out Alex Morgan. Rapino. Well, twice now the United States have been desperately close to the opening goal. Alex Morgan, normally so assured in those positions, such a good finisher. It's a lovely ball and a well-timed run. And the left leg of Angara does the job for Germany. It stays nil-nil. So pumped up, Nadine Angara. Here's Morgan Bryan. Krieger. United States support encouraged by what they've seen up to now. They have created the two chances of note that we've had. One for Johnston with a header. And that a moment ago for Alex Morgan. Quarter of an hour gone. Here's Simone Lauder. Rides the first challenge, looks for the pass for Sasic, who can't return it to Laudere. Good challenge on uh, Sasic. Here's Kran. Maya. There's never been a final in six previous FIFA Women's World Cup competitions that hasn't featured either the USA or Germany. That, of course, will continue in Canada 2015 with Japan and England facing up to one another in the other semi-final tomorrow in Edmonton. The final in Vancouver on July the 5th. Well, I asked to Sylvia Nied to a certain amount of humour in the press conference yesterday had Germany used up all their allocation of luck against France in the quarterfinals she said maybe but perhaps there might just be that little bit more for us against the United States well, they've needed their goalkeeper to keep out 
the US so far, but for Nadine Angra, the United States could well be leading here by a couple of goals to nil. Annika Kran with the German free kick. Klingenberg. Pino and strongly on Meyer. Germany throw. Rapino thought it should have gone the other way. Correct decision. I mean, looked at the replay. Here's Morgan Bryan, the youngest player in the United States team at 22. Long searching ball. Looks for the left back, Klingenberg. I mentioned at the outset that the United States normally set up 4-4-2. It's principally 4-5-1 or 4-4-1-1, depending on whether they have the ball or not. When they have the ball, Carly Lloyd is looking to make it a two with Alex Morgan when they haven't, and she's looking to push in to make an extra body in midfield. It's looked pretty fluid, though, the US game plan so far. Leonie Meyer will take the throw just a little over a year after coming back from a really bad cruciate ligament injury to make this World Cup. Since clearance from Bartusiak. Rapino. Holiday. Found his way through here to Klingenberg. Gersling quick to sense the danger. Done well there. Simon Lauder having a word with our Romanian referee, suggesting there might have been a foul in there. Just feels as though she takes a bump here from Lauren Holiday. But, uh, I think that's a correct decision. Corner for the United States. Rapino to take. Last corner from this side. Johnston almost scored. She's in the same position again here. Julie Johnston looking to attack the near post. Germany defend rather better this time. Here's Sauerbrunn. And now Krieger. Klingenberg. The United States have got a stranglehold on this game at the moment. Heath seeks out the run here from Krieger. Who wins the throw out of Alexandra Pop, who'd rather be running the other way than she is at the moment. Great encouragement for the United States. The only disappointment from their opening 21 minutes here is that they haven't scored. And that's principally been down to two excellent saves from Nadine Angara. Tobin Heath with the United States throw. Trying to work their, themselves a shooting position here. Peels for handball. Referee turns away and not interested in the United States claim. This is Johnston. Looking for Lloyd. Away by Kran. 
Germany could do with a little bit of possession at the moment. Well, they'll get a throw. US claims for handball. The referee says no touch. Well, maybe just brushed onto the right arm of Leupold, but it was very close to the body. Sasic. United States hungry again for possession. Sasic has won it back, though. This is Kemmer. Should go for the shot here. Well, she tried it, but was closed down quickly. And eventually the United States will be awarded a free kick. Bold run, though, from Tabia Kemmer. Just past the midway point in the first half. Hope Solo's had very little to do so far. Johnston and Morgan with those two chances, which on any other day would have beaten a less accomplished goalkeeper than what the US face tonight in Nadine Angara. Leone Meyer with the Germany throw. Stolen by Rapino. Just first to a lot of the 50-50s here, the United States look the more hungrier of the two teams. Lloyd. United States captain, Carly Lloyd. Morgan unable to gather the pass in. This is Mitak. Sasic on the chase. Sabron just had a start. That was important. Very calm defending from Becky Sabron. Morgan. Rapino. Lloyd. The United States have been growing into this World Cup. Went at their best in the group stage. Saved their best for last in that quarter-final win over China. And their form in that match continuing here. Morgan Bryan. Krieger back with Johnston. Saarbrunn. Lloyd. Just finding that pocket of space again there, Carly Lloyd. Here's Rapino. Klingenberg, United States knocking on the door of the opening goal, but Angerer is there. Takes all the pressure off her defence. Nadine Angerer facing a couple of her club teammates with Portland Thorns tonight, Alex Morgan and Tobin Heath. This is loud air. German performance is not impressing Sylvia Nied at the moment on the touchline. She's put her hands on her hips and pretty displeased with the way they've given the ball away rather cheaply on a few occasions. They do so again there via Sasic. And there's no run there. Morgan here's Kemmer Sylvia Nide won 111 caps as a midfielder in her playing days. We'll be taking over a role in development and scouting in the German women's system. And she makes way for Steffi Jones next year. Here's Meyer. 
Gersling. Sarbrun. Lapino. Little rocky on her heels there. And a free kick given against Lauren Holiday for the challenge on Leone Meyer. Decent position here now for Germany. First genuine opportunity for Germany to test Hope Solo. Lena Gersling. Looks like she's going to deliver this. Fed in by Gersling. Very well defended by the United States. But it's a heavy collision there. Two players down and in some distress here. Oh, you can see the damage. Alexandra Pop has blood emanating from her hairline there. And she makes the challenge here with Morgan Bryant. And both players really felt that. I think this unofficial timeout, if you want to call it that, doesn't suit Jill Ellis, but Germany chance to regroup and Sylvia Nye to get out some hoped for words of wisdom to her players have been second best for much of it up to now. Jill Ellis will be thrilled with this performance. USA have pressed the ball extremely well, made it very difficult for Germany to play their way out from defence. A nasty old challenge. Both players with eyes for the ball. And both with sore heads now. And quite often when you get a, a cut these days, uh, the medics can often get the, uh, the modern stapler gun out. It's never pleasant to watch. Or indeed to... Uh, have it administered to you, but I'm not sure whether there's going to be any need for stitches. But I don't think Morgan Bryan's uh, got any lasting problems. Little thumbs up there from Jill Ellis. Looks as though she's going to be okay. But Alexandra Pop is still lying flat out and receiving treatment to that head wound that we saw blood emanating from. If you've just joined us, very warm welcome to a great atmosphere at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal. The first of the semi-finals at the 2015 Canada Women's World Cup. The United States have had very much the best of it so far. Julie Johnston, header from a Megan Rapino corner, brought a wonderful save from Nadine Angara. He then denied Alex Morgan, who had a one-on-one -on -one with the German goalkeeper. And Angara came out on top. Looks like both players will be OK to resume. And nice to see them both on their feet again. Alexandra Pop is very important to Germany for her power and strength in the air. Morgan Bryan matched her, though, in that challenge. Plays for Houston Dash, this is her first World Cup. Looks a little shaken, a little ashen-faced. Not quite how Alexandra Pop is going to be able to continue with that. They're going to need a head bandage there to stem the flow of blood.
Still a little bit of concern there for Morgan Bryant. She won't want to come off. This is her the biggest stage of her football career so far. German medical team just saying water's good enough for the job. We might not need a head bandage for Alexandra Pop. Looks like they've washed away most, if not all, of the blood for now, and Pop is back with us. So too, Brian. Good to see. Here's Mittag. Good looking ball towards uh, Sasic. Julie Johnson's there to clear for the United States. Gersley. Bartusiak for Kran. Ball run well here by Rapino, clearly hauled back by Meyer. And it's definitely going to be a yellow card for Leonie Meyer. Just too strong, too eager Rapino there for the Germany right back. And now has an hour or so to be very careful on a yellow card, Leonie Meyer. Another huge USA, USA chant rings around the Olympic Stadium as Lauren Holiday works a free kick short. Here's Sauerbrunn. Header on's a decent one, won't pick out Julie Johnston. Cleared by Laudair. Here's Mittag. Johnston. Ali Krieger. Tobin Heath for Lauren Holiday. Here's a chance maybe opening up for the United States. Megan Klingenberg thought about the shot. Then delivers it, deflection! And Bartusiak and Angara between them, happy to see it go well wide in the end. But how often have we seen deflections like that? Wrong for the goalkeeper and hit the back of the net. Only a corner for the United States. Rapino to take. Deeper one this time. Back into the danger area. Still work to do here for Germany. Johnston. Lovely turn from Julie Johnston. There's the pass. And there is the interception from Maya. Another US corner. Another corner here then for Megan Rapino. Johnston again looks to attack the near post. Again, it's deep. Angara coming amongst the crowd. In comes the shot on the turn from Johnston. Still in there for the United States. There's the chance. And it just won't go in for Tobin Heath. A blanket of red shirts. Masking her route to goal there. Great pressure here from the USA. Lauren Holiday takes the fifth corner for the United States. Johnston looking to get a flick on. 
And anywhere would do for Sasic. Holiday. Pass short of Saarbrunn, who's brought down Mittag. And Becky Saarbrunn is looking at a yellow card here. And that was one that the United States brought upon themselves. It was a short pass from Lauren Holiday that put Saarbrunn under that pressure. And she knew the risk if Mittag had ridden the challenge. So the USA pick up their first yellow card of the match. Here's Kram. Klingenberg. Referee stepping in, Megan Klingenberg. Just trying to regather her feet and trying to prevent a quick throw there from Germany. Mittag, Gersling, Kemmer, and Germany experiencing exactly what they did in the quarter-final against France, second best in the first half, it's Kemmer, tries a look from range. But no one in any sport underestimates Germany's mental strength so often in major tournaments they get the job done they may not always be the best team but their belief and their powers of recovery from losing positions second to none they're not behind here but really, the United States performance in the opening 40 minutes has been deserving of at least one goal. Kran. Bartusia. Kemmer. Really good shape again about the United States. They just don't get beyond halfway there, Germany. They try to play their passes and link the play. It's very difficult. There's always a white shirt pressing the ball. Good work here by Leupoltz. Johnston is covering for the US. Oh, she's unlucky there, Carly Lloyd. She's lost her balance. Mittag with a wild shot. Looking to add to her five goals at this World Cup. And you Mittag. Very unfortunate there, Carly Lloyd. Sauerbrunn. Here's Pop, who swapped flanks with Laudaire. Not the first time we've seen that at this uh, World Cup. Morgan Bryan. Again, accomplished, confident football from the United States. A terrific pass, pass of the game from Holiday. Picks out Krieger.
Holiday again. Johnston. Brian. Brown's going to have to try and save the corner here. Sauerbrunn. Clever ball into the channel here for Alex Morgan. has got beyond the first challenge. Angara to meet her. And it was neither a shot towards the target or a damaging cross from Alex Morgan. But she worked the space supremely well. Look at this for skill. Whoops. Took Kran right out of the game. What will be, I suspect, crossing the mind of Jill Ellis. We must ram home the advantage when we're on top, take these chances that we've had. But we're still goalless with less than 90 seconds plus stoppage time to half time. Here's Pop. Never looked like she was going to wrap her right foot around that. Alexandra Pop annoyed with herself. Hope Solo still having a quiet time of it in the US goal. Johnston. Krieger. Morgan Bryan. Tobin Heath's made an excellent run. Bryan. A little chip over the top of uh, Kemmer. Still Tobin Heath. And she's just run out of pitch in the end. So injured herself in colliding with the advertising hoarding there. Tobin Heath, none the worse for the collision. We've got four minutes of added on time, all coming from that. Nasty head collision between uh, Pop and Brian. Another example of the US hunting the ball down extremely well. Lloyd did it initially there. Germany reply in kind and pick out Sasic. Chance to run at Saarbrunn. Just lacking a bit of support here now, Sasic. Away by Julie Johnston, who hasn't put a foot out of place in this tournament. It's been absolutely magnificent. Rapino. That's a mistimed challenge. By Pop. Only a, a word in the ear of Alexandra Pop. Megan Klingenberg will take the United States free kick. Again, the United States winning the 50-50. Break so for Bartusiak. 
Kemmer. Rapino going down under a challenge there from Maya. Referee saw that as uh, accidental, but Maya has to be careful already on that yellow card. Oh, certainly a uh, little uh, forearm into the. Uh, I think it was the, just the contact with the ball off the head of Rapino that took her into Maya. I don't think it was too much in that referee saw it that way little over a minute left of the four extra at the end of a very interesting first half Lauren Holiday with the free kick safety first from Alexandra Pop Rapino with a corner US fans stand up all around me in the Olympic Stadium in expectation, perhaps, that they can make the breakthrough just shy of half-time. Not the best delivery from Rapino. The US have just got time to take this throw. Seconds ticking away to the referee's half-time whistle. Trying to work themselves another corner here. Rapino. Harmlessly away, and so we are going to go in at the break level. As soon as Nadine Angra delivers this goal kick, I think the referee will be blowing for half time. But Carly Lloyd, Lauren Holiday, Morgan Bryan have had a measure of control on the midfield. We are at the interval now. The United States have had six corners to Germany's two, seven attempts on goal, three on target for Jill Ellis' team, just one on target for Germany. Most certainly the United States in the ascendancy in that first half. The two great saves from Angra makes it nil-nil at half-time. There are five key steps to tackling the coronavirus. Hands, elbow, face, distance and feel. Comece pelas mãos. Por favor, lave as mãos com frequência usando sabão ou gel desinfetante. With your elbows bent, please cover your nose and mouth if you sneeze or cough. If using tissues, dispose of them immediately. Respecto a la cara, evita tocarte tus ojos, nariz y boca, así puedes evitar que el virus entre en tu cuerpo. Si vous vous sentez mal, restez chez vous. The United States kick us off in the second half of the first World Cup semi-final in Canada 2015. USA and Germany have each won the World Cup twice, looking for an unprecedented third. One of them will be in Vancouver July the 5th. And at the moment, the United States looking more than likely. They have uh, dominated much of it. And here's uh, Bartusiak covering in behind Kran. Both nations looking for their fourth World Cup final. No substitutions at half time. Very interesting to see what, what tactically Sylvia Knight is going to do about the stranglehold that the United States have had on them for much of that opening period. First corner of the second half goes to the US. It's a call for Julie Johnston to get up and attack that near post area again. 
where she is so dangerous on these Megan Rapino corners. Up goes Lloyd! Not too far away from the United States captain, Carly Lloyd. And again, it's the United States who wanted it more here. Good movement from Lloyd. Angra disappointed with the marking. Offside against Sasic. He's been on the periphery of the game up to now. That can only be good news for the USA. Sasic and Mittag have barely had a kick in this game up to now. Lauren Holiday with the free kick. <laughs> Sasic. Gersling, now Pop, good switch past that, it's a brilliant ball to pick out Meyer. Sabrin there, ahead of Sasic. Bartusiak, Kemmer. Well, you have to believe that Germany will improve in the second half. They are the number one ranked team in the world. I wouldn't have thought it. An evidence of the first 45. We might just have lost the best team in the World Cup in Canada 2015 in France. That's arguable. But these are the two most decorated teams in women's football history. Going at it, hammer and tongs here. Morgan Bryan. United States still looking very strong in that midfield area. Here's Morgan. It's too far ahead of Rapino. Krieger. Saubrun. Is there a misplaced pass from Becky Saubrun? Saw a nice banner in the crowd uh, earlier. It said, uh, message to the Germans, you might have sauerkraut, but we've got Saubrun. Here's Kran. Loud air. Sasic. Gersling for Kemmer. More controlled builder play here now from Germany. Tabia Kemmer with the cross. Mittag couldn't get there. Tobin Heath needs to be careful. And she's running out for the corner. Germany's turn to press. Lena Gersling will take this. Right across the face of that. USA goal, retrieved here by Sasic. It's a poor ball from Celia Sasic. 
won the Champions League this past season with her club Frankfurt. Still a fair amount of concern on the face of Sylvia Knight. She looks more uh, composed, Jill Ellis. Sums up the nature of much of what we've seen in the match up to now. Krieger. Sylvia Knight talked for the need for Germany in the press conference yesterday to be more agile, more aggressive than they were against France. I'm not sure she's really had that response up to now. But they do get stronger the longer the game goes on. And that's their first genuine opening, falling for Mittag. Took a slight deflection on its way through, it'll be a corner. It's a nicely flighted ball from Lauder. Mittag was onside, just couldn't generate the power. The official said there was a touch from Solo on its way out. And so Lena Gersling will have another Germany corner. Out as far as Maya. Couldn't control herself from the shot. Germany won the last of the three World Cup meetings. Back in the USA it was in 2003. Abby back was around then. Germany won 3-0 in the semi-final. Here's Rapino. Support from Morgan on her inside. And Rapino held on too long. Free kick against Holiday. Here's Kran. Maya. Looks for Sasic. Just uh, jumps in front of uh, Johnston. Says Mittag. There's more urgency about Germany in the few minutes we've had in the second half. This is almost a carbon copy of the quarter final against France. And Germany were outplayed for much of the first half and then. Really began to grow into the that particular quarter-final. The longer it went on, here's uh, Krieger. Heath plays Krieger into a good position here. Just a little hasty over our desire to get the ball in early. Made life comfortable for Angara. Bartusiak. Nice poor one. Ball over the top, seeks out Alex Morgan. And just had a hold of Kran, who defended well. And the referee from Romania, Teodora Albon, decided that she had a hold here, Alex Morgan of Kran. Yeah, it's a correct decision. Here's Gersling. Surging run from Lena Gersling. Sign of intent from Germany in the second half. They had enough of being second best. Sasic. Disappointing effort from Roy Poltz. Finding more service now, Celia Sasic inside uh, Mittag.
Krieger. Klingenberg. And no one's going to reach that pass from Megan Klingenberg. Steady World Cup. And a very settled United States defence. Hope Solo has now taken her national record to very nearly 480 minutes without conceding. Last USA goal that went in their net in this World Cup was in their opening group stage game. Run. Goes down well. And Carly Lloyd. She likes that position, Carly Lloyd. Earlier in the group stage, she was playing at a more withdrawn midfield role, but looks to be her best position, playing just off the main striker, Alex Morgan. It's freedom to roam in there, Lloyd, where she can be uh, quite devastating. A good eye for goal as we saw against China. Uh, China, here's a mistake, and the ball is lobbed wide. They're looking for a penalty here, and the referee, I think, has given it. Well, has she just given the corner here? I think she's given the penalty. Didn't make it absolutely clear. Julie Johnston there with a slight tug back, but only slight on Alexandra Pop. But it is a penalty for the United States. Julie Johnston's error, her first error of this World Cup. She's been brilliant up to now. But the bouncing ball was awkward. She's picked up the yellow card. She's conceded the penalty. The USA think it's a soft one. And now the World Cup top scorer in Canada 2015, Celia Sasic. has the opportunity to give Germany the lead. Gone around several of her teammates to high five. German squad await the outcome, as do we all. The first World Cup semi-final in the Olympic Stadium in Montreal has a dramatic moment. Celia Sasic from the penalty spot against one of the world's best goalkeepers in Hope Solo. Sasic looks composed. Oh, but isn't in the end. Drives it wide. And it stays at 0-0. And the biggest roar of the night from USA throats. She looked the calmest person inside the stadium. Well, the radar askew. Solo going the wrong way and the wrong side of the post for Sasic. Greeted like a goal by the USA fans, but we're still goalless. And this could be quite a dramatic second half. Just how will that affect Germany? Probably not, because I've spoken earlier about their tremendous mental strength. 
No, forget about that. Sasic will get ahead up again. And look to add to her six goals already in the tournament. And it was a poor miss. Have to hit the target. In by Krieger. Angara with catching practice. Bartusiak. Down goes Lloyd, no free kick given. Suddenly it's Germany looking the more confident of the two teams. They're now stringing three, four, five passes together. Getting some good width in their play and driven wide by Mitak. Driven over rather than wide of the goal. Michi ran under this with some purpose, Anya Mitak. Decent cutback from Laudair. It was wide. It was right on the initial angle. It's deceiving. Interesting to see how the German fitness holds up as well. They were taken all the way to extra time and penalty kicks to see off France in the quarter-final. USA came through in normal time against China. Here's Morgan Bryan. Now Klingenberg, two waiting for the cross. Away by Bartusiak, back with Klingenberg. And they're queuing up in the middle there in white shirts for the USA. Germany will survive that latest attack, but the decision from the Romanian referee, Teodora Albon, is that the ball had travelled out to corner. Well, it's more than edge of the seat stuff, it's standing up all around when the USA are attacking. Apart from Jill Ellis, who very rarely rises out of her seat. Very laid back, customarily, USA head coach. Deflection on the corner. Out as far as Rapino. And now Gersling. Sasic looking to make an angle for the pass. Here's Kran. Loud air. Maya. Well, whatever Sylvia Nide had to say to her team at half time has certainly worked. It's they who are beginning to push the USA back into defence now. It's a role reversal for what we saw in the first half. 25 minutes to go of normal time. Remember, extra time and penalties to decide our first finalist in this seventh FIFA Women's World Cup. Japan and England match up in the other semi final tomorrow in Edmonton. England, the lowest ranked team to make it through. They've outperformed their rank, they're sixth in the world. Japan, the fourth. Germany and USA, one and two, respectively. Klingenberg. Good movement here from Alex Morgan. He's got the defender isolated. Great feet from Morgan! Right across the face and out. And away to safety for Germany. But Alex Morgan just looked for the happy dancing feed here. 
takes Cron out of the game. She did previously in the match. Just too cute for her. The angle tight. And ultimately beyond Alex Morgan make it 1-0. Carly Lloyd in aggressively, she wanted that more than loud air. He stayed down injured, here's an opportunity now for the United States, looking for a penalty and they've got it! <laughs> Terrific driving run from Alex Morgan and Cron picks up the yellow card and we have another penalty in this semi-final. High drama! in Montreal Alex Morgan just drove at Cron here does it happen outside the area yes it does oh they've got one there the United States that for me was outside she traveled a long way in Morgan there's another angle and I think Germany can feel hard done to there but now the USA so close to going one down with that Sasic missed penalty. Angara now has one to face herself. Carly Lloyd, the USA captain. I guarantee you this stadium will explode if Carly Lloyd's penalty explodes into the Germany net. Such a crucial, perhaps pivotal moment in this first semi-final. A long wait for Carly Lloyd. Stares continuously at the ball. About to get the nod from the Romanian referee, Teodora Albon. Carly Lloyd for the United States against Angara. Scores! <laughs> Lift off for the USA in Montreal. <laughs> Carly Lloyd's third goal in the tournament, by far the most important. A wonderfully composed spot kick in stark contrast to that at the other end from Celia Sasic. And the strongest defence in this World Cup has to be breached now by Sylvia Knight's Germany, otherwise they're going home. Here's Pop. Tobin Heath. Bartusiak with a fresh air swipe of the ball and USA look to press home further advantage here. And they win the throw. They're all around my commentary position, smiling faces, bodies jumping up and down from their seats and they jump no higher than when Carly Lloyd put the penalty into the back of that Germany goal. Here's Mittag, Laudere to her right, Simone Laudere trying to work a shooting position, Klingenberg denies her, real good tussle between the two and the USA throw. Good defending there from Klingenberg.
Remember, Germany were a goal to nil behind against uh, France in the quarter-final. Right up until six minutes from time when Sasic scored a penalty. But she's missed one here. And Lloyd hasn't. A semi-final of two penalty kicks. And still a fair amount of drama to come, I'm certain. That's a soft free kick given away by Tobin Heath. I'm surprised Germany haven't sent one of their two central defenders forward. Bartusiak and Kran have both stayed back from this uh, set piece, which is going to be taken by Gersling. Four red shirts on the far side of that penalty area looking to close in on Hope Solo. All about the quality of delivery here from Gersling. Delivery's decent. Here's Pop. Couldn't help it back into the danger area. Goal kick for the US. Well, no panic yet from Sylvia Nide. No thoughts of changing personnel we haven't had a substitution yet in very nearly 73 minutes of this first semi-final when Germany see that penalty awarded to the United States back again they will feel aggrieved the challenge initially came just outside the penalty area referee gets one look at it we've got the benefit of replays Having said all that, the US weren't too happy with the penalty that was awarded in favour of Germany that Sasic missed. But Julie Johnson's perceived to pull on Alexandra Pop, and it didn't look much in that. Fine margins at the highest level. unable to keep that in and well, here is the first change of the match Kelly O'Hara who started the quarter-final against China he's coming on to replace Tobin Heath fresh legs into the USA midfield Kelly O'Hara of the Sky Blue FC club, the second World Cup. Mistake there, it just uh, caused problems, didn't in the end for Bartusiak. If Germany looked for extra creativity off the bench, Jennifer Marijan would be the first player that Sylvia Nide would turn to but, uh, an excellent range of passing and an eye for goal too but she's been nursing a foot injury so how fit is she well we'll find out soon enough here's Lloyd excellent work O'Hara it's a brilliant tackle from Kemma and a good switch pass as well to pick out Alexandra Pop Germany are far from finished here they're not number one in the world for nothing they will get their chances before this night is out. We're into the last quarter of an hour plus stoppage time. Bartusiak. Well, right on cue, Marajan has just made her way out of the Germany dugout. And she's going to come on in the next stoppage. Forward by Kran. And now the Germany change. Very talented player, Jennifer Marijan. Yes. 
The attendance officially 51,176. Not far from an absolute sellout at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Nice build up here. Gersling just cut across the shot after a nice uh, slick passing move from the Germans. Marajan still waiting to get on. It's going to be Mitag who's going to make way here for Marajan. As we look again at the Sasic miss penalty. And Kran's challenge on Morgan seemingly outside of the penalty area. They got the spot kick and Lloyd tucked it away. Mitag departs. Is that her last action at this World Cup? Marajan on. She brought a real zest to Germany's second half performance when she came on at half time against France in the quarter final. Abi one back being readied by Jill Ellis to bring her power and strength to the United States attack. Julie Johnston with the free kick. Klingenberg. Harmlessly out for a Germany goal kick inside the final 12 minutes plus stop his time. Claustrophobic atmosphere, no wonder Hope Solo is uh, feeling it. The roof, as it has been throughout this World Cup, is closed. I gather it doesn't open, it's permanently closed. upon a time the idea was to have a retractable roof here for the 1976 Olympics so it's Megan Rapino coming off and Abby Wambach the legend that is is going to come into this semi-final 35 years old her fourth World Cup standing ovation as Abby Wambach enters the arena 183 goals in 247 caps remarkable goal scoring record can she add to it and give daylight to the US which is full of running immediately can't catch up with that pass so forward by Maya Abby Wambach made her debut coincidentally against Germany back in 2001. We're getting to the stage where Germany are going to need to take some chances, throw bodies forward inside the last 10 minutes now. Holiday. No pressure here on Johnston. Kemmer with the throw for Germany. Looks for Laudier. Marijan. Good ball to Maya. You can have a go from there. Disappoints several of her teammates in trying to test Solo from a long way out. With some wonderful costumes amongst the USA supporters. That's one of the best of them.
Maya. Sabrun all over Sasic there. And again. One back. O'Hara's made a good run here. She's offside. Just ran on the blind side of Kemma. Just went a split second too early there, Kelly O'Hara. Nearly worked. Johnston. One back. Already in a fleeting moments on the field. It's been significant that USA have been looking for Abby Wombach at every opportunity. She is the coach on the pitch, Jill Ellis said at yesterday's press conference. Julie Johnston with the USA free kick. It's going to beat everyone. Nineteen ninety nine, the last time the United States lifted the World Cup. Three minutes away from doing so in Germany in 2011 until Japan got that late extra time equaliser that took the match to penalties but it's a penalty from Carly Lloyd that has the USA in front now Holiday one back trying to earn herself a corner here Klingenberg Clever little pass. Germany in trouble here. 2-0. Surely enough now. Kelly O'Hara. In all probability has stabbed the United States into their fourth World Cup final. Six minutes to go. And daylight. And it's the substitute Kelly O'Hara. Excellent work here by Klingenberg initially. And when the ball was fed in, there was O'Hara getting in front of Kemmer. A goal for Carly Lloyd and now an assist. And Kelly O'Hara makes it 2-0 with a little over five minutes to go. And surely no way back for Germany now. Jill Ellis can sense the winning line and another USA final. What a moment for Kelly O'Hara. Her first senior international goal and what a stage to get it. And a sinking feeling now for Sylvia Knight. Her team equalised with six minutes to go in the quarter-final against France. They've conceded a second goal six minutes from the end of normal time against the USA. And against their strength and their defence, it could well be curtains now for the world number one. Here's Meyer. Turns into a little bit of space. The United States will prevent the corner. It will only be a throw. Sassis to take. Well, the United States did have to weather fair amount of pressure from Germany in the opening 15-20 minutes or so of the second half survived that missed Sasic penalty and what might that have done to United States confidence had it gone in but all around me they're jumping up and down 
already going through their repertoire of victory songs on the way to the final, or so it seems, the United States. A little over three minutes of the 90 left now as Kemmer drives well wide of the target. The USA with this remarkable record of having reached every semi-final at least in the FIFA Women's World Cup. And Hope Solo closing in on a fifth successive clean sheet at this tournament. It's already a national record before a ball was kicked. Now she's well over 500 minutes since being beaten. Some pretty tired German bodies out there now, taken all the way to extra time and penalties in the quarter-final against France. USA and their fitness telling now. And the second goal really punctured German hopes of the comeback. Abby Wambach played her part in the build-up. Significant moments were for Megan Klingenberg with a lovely pass and Carly Lloyd with the assist for Kelly O'Hara and a comfort zone here for the USA strong running here for Alex Morgan just exactly what she needs to do for her team Still looks fresh. Abby Wambach. Germany World Cup winners in 2003, 2007. Prevented from a hat trick when they went out in the quarter final on home soil four years ago to the eventual champions, Japan. And almost certainly now exiting at the semi final stage at the hands of their great rivals, the United States. First time these two have met in a little over a couple of years. And USA. Overall, have been the better team. I don't think there can be too many complaints from Germany, certainly about the awarding of the penalty that Carly Lloyd took away to make it 1 0. But that second goal has reduced the controversial factor and effect in the aftermath of this semi final. We're now about to go into stoppage time, a minimum of three minutes of it. Montreal get ready for one gigantic party. The United States have their foot very much over the border in Canada and two feet surely into a World Cup final. forward for Marajan here's one back just a little slow in possession there Abby one back the United States looking to make a very late substitution here Sydney LaRue stripped and ready to come on inside the last two minutes of stoppage time Gersling should be easy for Solo. Hope Solo closing in as well on equaling her 
compatriot Brianna Scurry's 10 clean sheets at a World Cup. And as I said earlier, the fifth in a row here in Canada 2015. Is there to be any consolation for Germany? Gersling. Leupoltz. Gersling and Leupoltz have lost out in that midfield area in this semi-final. USA have been dominant. Jill Ellis' tactics have worked to perfection here. There might have been one or two murmurings that she'd gone with a more defensive formation, but they got on the front foot very quickly in this semi-final. And far from it being 4-5-1, it looked 4-3-3 when they drove at Germany for much of that first half. Angra had to make two excellent saves to keep the scoreline nil-nil at the break. We're now inside the last 30 seconds. Sydney LaRue will get on for those 30 seconds to replace Alex Morgan. It'll be a World Cup final for Morgan. But will it be Japan or England? That could go either way in Edmonton tomorrow. But stand by, our Romanian referee is adding on extra seconds to the three minutes of stoppage time. The USA about to celebrate victory in some style here at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Long look at the watch from Theodora Albon. Allows one last German attack. Will it yield a goal for Gersling? Closed out by Julie Johnston. USA beseeching the referee for the full-time whistle. There it is! Fantastic performance from Jill Ellis' USA. Graciously accepted in defeat by Sylvia Nide. She knows the best team has won on the night. And boy, were they good. Carly Lloyd for the penalty spot. And Kelly O'Hara off the bench makes it a full-time score. USA 2, congratulations to them. They're in the final. Germany nil. Jill, a change to the lineup tonight with that 4-3-3. How satisfied are you in the way your team performed? It's not about the system, it's about the players on the field, and they did a great job. I mean, they just played their hearts out. It's guts tonight, and they are, I'm just so, so pleased for them. How did you figure out a way to solve a team that had scored the most goals in this World Cup and stop their run? Well, we prepared very, very well. Um, you know, watched a lot of film, broke it down, but the players executed. That's the key. Thank you, Jill. Carly, with that penalty kick, had you studied Nadine Angerer before you took that shot? No, not at all. I just uh, remained having my eyes on the ball and um, just slotted it home. I knew what I had to do. What did Jill say to you guys at halftime? She thought we played a really good half. Um, I think we came out, we did well. The more we knocked it around, the better it was. Um, and just to keep, keep our foot on the pedal, we did really well. We, uh, you know, there's a PK call. Luckily, she missed, and we capitalized and won it. One more to go. You can hear the crowd inside here. I can see the emotion in your face. What does it mean to be going back to the World Cup final? It's a dream come true. Uh, this is what we train for. This is the blood, sweat, the tears, everything. I know this was a great game, a great win, but my eyes are all on the final right now. Thanks, Carly. Nadine. Sie haben äh, so viele Bälle gehalten heute. Ich gehe davon aus, die Enttäuschung ist jetzt kurz danach riesengroß, oder? Ja, jetzt klar, jetzt haben wir gerade ein Halbfinale verloren. Klar ist man dann erstmal enttäuscht, aber wenn man das ganze Turnier sieht, dann kann man, glaube ich, schon zufrieden sein. Sie hatten ja vorher schon gesagt, da kommt irgendwie ein ICE auf uns zugerauscht. Wie hat sich denn das heute angefühlt, gegen die Amerikanerin zu spielen? Ja, ich glaube, in der ersten Halbzeit hat man es dann auch gesehen. Es kam ein ICE angerauscht. Ähm, zweite Halbzeit haben wir es dann wesentlich besser gemacht. Wir haben uns ein paar Chancen aus gespielt, aber ähm, 45 Minuten ist halt äh, nicht genug. Jetzt ist das ja quasi Ihr, sagen wir mal, vorletztes Spiel. Ich spiele Platz 3 noch, aber 
letztes große Spiel. Äh, fühlt sich das schon irgendwie an oder haben Sie das noch gar nicht so realisiert? Nee, überhaupt nicht. Also jetzt bin ich grad, also sind wir alle gerade ein bisschen äh, traurig, äh, dass wir nicht ins Finale gekommen sind. Aber so ist Sport und äh, jetzt wünschen wir den Finalisten erstmal ein schönes Endspiel und uns auch ein gutes Spiel um Platz 3. Dankeschön. Sie, werden halt, Sie hatten gewarnt, auch vor dieser Mannschaft. Jetzt äh, hat die äh, amerikanische Mannschaft, die deutsche Mannschaft heute so ein bisschen überrollt. Wie fühlt sich das jetzt gerade an, kurz danach? Ich habe Sie nicht verstanden, Entschuldigung. Die amerikanische Mannschaft hat unserer Meinung nach die Deutsche ein bisschen überrannt. Wie fühlt sich das jetzt an? Naja, überrannt finde ich jetzt äh, etwas übertrieben. Ähm, wir haben, denke ich, ganz gut dagegen gehalten. Das unser Problem war einfach, dass wir nach vorne in deren Abwehrdrittel nicht so gut gespielt haben und dadurch relativ wenig Chancen hatten und ähm, ähm, vielleicht hier und da auch schwache Abschlüsse. Also wir kamen ja auch zum Torabschluss, aber das, die waren nicht gut genug. Die gingen übers Tor oder am Tor vorbei. Und äh, ja, dann geht das rotzfatz und dann kann man 0-1 hinten liegen und dann macht natürlich USA noch das Zweite. Hat die Kulisse irgendwie eine Rolle gespielt heute? Nein, überhaupt nicht. Das äh, hat uns gar nichts ausgemacht. Dann gab es einen Elfmeter, Celia Sasic hat ihn verschossen. Wie kann man so eine Spielerin danach jetzt wieder so ein bisschen aufbauen oder wie trösten Sie die? Ja, das ist natürlich bitter, aber ähm, so ist das eben im Sport. Mal trifft man zweimal an einem Tag und dann mal nicht. Aber ich ähm, finde die Celia toll, dass sie sich traut ständig. Und äh, ja, man, wir haben vor ein paar Tagen zusammen gewonnen und heute haben wir zusammen verloren. Und so ist das im Sport. Können Sie trotzdem diese Weltmeisterschaft als Erfolg verbuchen, ausscheiden im Halbfinale? Das ist ja kein Beinbruch. Also auf jeden Fall. Wir sind stolz darauf, was wir erreicht haben. Wir sind unter den besten vier und wollen äh, natürlich auch das letzte Spiel sehr gut gestalten. Dankeschön. Danke.